There was this guy who was a regular guy who lived a regular life. Got up 7.30 every morning, had the same breakfast, kissed the same wife goodbye every morning, went to the same office, came home. This he did Monday through Friday. On Saturdays he played with the children, did handiwork around the house. Sundays he took the family out on the station wagon to the suburbs. And there they looked at the houses, the trees, the billboards, the gasoline stations, and the railroad crossings. His life might have gone on like this forever, except one night something strange happened to him. You see, he went to bed at 10.30, and some of his friends stayed up later. And one of them, closing up a place that closed at 2 o'clock in the morning, decided to call this regular liver and said, What time is it? on the telephone. Well, he woke up and he said, Who is this? Who is this? It's two o'clock in the morning. There's no time to call. Bye. But the practical joker called every night, two o'clock in the morning. He did this for two weeks. Friend could hold. He said, Who is it? Stop. Finally, after two weeks, the practical joker lost interest in the joke and did stop. Then came two o'clock and the phone didn't ring. So he woke up. Why isn't the phone ringing? He discovered that the only way that he could go back to sleep was to say, What time is it? And look at his watch and say, Two o'clock. Then he could sleep. He did this for a couple of nights, until he began to think, It's two o'clock where I am. What time is it in New York? Or in Hollywood? Or in London? Or in Hong Kong? In Cairo? He didn't know, so the next day he went out and he bought himself some clocks. He got clocks from all over, and he put them all over the walls, and the time was there. He knew what time it was everywhere that counted, and this made him feel comfortable. He became so interested in time, they got little egg timers that gave him away his presents. He read about time. And in books, sidereal time, time way out of the universe, he knew what time it was in Arcturus and the Pleiades and the Milky Way. One night, though, at two o'clock in the morning, the light wouldn't go on. The fuse had blown. But suddenly he realized he knew what time it was without even looking. Not only in the important cities of this world, but in the entire universe. And naturally, he began to brag a little the next day. He told people, I know what time it is. And they tested him. And he did know. The administration had changed at this particular time, and they wanted to save money. So they got rid of all their astronomers, all their telescopes, their weights and measures, and they put this man in Washington in a little room, where he sits to this day, simply saying, Beep! The time now is... 